Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another J-Rock video. So today is something slightly different. Now the loans are really starting to slow down. This is going to be my last video until sort of into the new year. And what we're going to be doing is cleaning out the borders. So a lot of the green growth you can see in the borders currently is our antiriniums, otherwise known as snapdragons. They're going to be getting pulled out because they're to towards the end of their lifespan at the moment. And they're going to be, be getting replaced with these tulips. Okay, so I've got two different colours. The Negrita, I believe you pronounce it as, and the Ronaldo. So two different sort of blends of dark purple and pink. And they're going to be put on this inside border just over my shoulder here. So when we look out the front window, they're all lined up very nice going into spring. So that's the plan. So we're going to clean out the borders, pull anything that needs pulled, winterize what needs to be winterized. And yeah, just sort of the last few jobs before we hit spring. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Now there is many pros to having uh, bedding plants and just sort of seasonal plants in your borders and um, one of them is, is just by having them in during the growing season what I was finding last season when I had uh, it was just main shrubs I had in these borders what it then done is it then created a lot of weeding because you could see absolutely everything that came through so just by filling your borders with uh, you know whatever it may be and I mean these snapdragons they're very easy to grow you can put them in a little greenhouse on your windowsill let them germinate and then just transfer them to pots. But as you can see, like sort of down here, you start getting weeds that come through and these plants basically just hide them. So yes, you're still gonna get weeds in your garden, that's a given, but it just hides them for a little bit. So there's a whole lot less maintenance to do through the season and you can have a, such a nice garden while doing so, <clears throat> as when you change them over, you're gonna just get a whole range of different colors come through and you can really change the dynamic of your whole garden just by what you plant. So like next year, the plan is, is to put a couple of taller roses in here so that we've got colour from summer all the way through winter as well as some of the just general bedding plants that I'm not too sure what's going to be just yet. But by doing this, it allows you to not only change things up in your garden, get rid of weeds and also suppress weeds through the growing season, but it's more jobs you can do at the same time because as I take these out now and I haven't de-weeded this part in probably about since I put these in maybe three four months ago and all of this I can do at the same time without it getting too bad now we spoke earlier on about using a cultivator you've seen the wolf garden one the red one that I've got <clears throat> normally through the growing season I'll just pop around with that five ten minutes of just sort of cultivating through the soil in between plants and what it does is it turns up all this soil 
and it allows a nice deep dark wet soil to show and it gives a good contrast between the lawn and the borders. Now that is great around that sort of time but what it's also allowing you to do is just cleaning up as well as planting and you can just take more things off the list at the same time and you're not in and out, in and out, in and out. So for example, I'll do all this now. I'll take away all the main, the main weeds that I've got here and then what I'll do is I'll just cultivate slightly with my fork. You just allow an air back into the soil, into these areas. What's well, not a must at this time of year, but still it all helps. And then I'll use the fork horizontally, almost like a lawn loop, to just sort of level off the area. So when it comes to planting, it all looks very nice and clean. And yeah, just a lot more tidier. Also with the areas, you can sort of straighten off where you've been strimming, edging, whatever it might be. And it's just gonna give you lush green sort of lines. And at this time of year, it's all about just prepping for going into next season, tidying up this year's growth, this year's work. And yeah, it's very therapeutic. So if you enjoy the garden, this is something I would definitely recommend doing around this time of year. Right then, so with the bulbs, what I'll do is I'll just chuck the packets down like a half so done there, and therefore you get to see the spacing. On the back of these bulbum packs, if you've never actually planted them before, it's got all the information you need. So the distance between each one, the depth it needs to go in, and when it flowers. You can either just use a little spade, or you can use some form of bulb planter like this, that's got the measurements on the side. And then, yeah, I'm just going to do them in a little sort of circular area in each patch, and follow it all the way down. So that the front, the front window, we get a nice show of bulbs. I don't tend to worry too much about how they're going, if they're the exact depth. To be fair, I'm very relaxed with it. The reason being as well is the town where I live, or the village, is actually built on rock. So as soon as you go so far through these borders, they get very, they get very um, hard and rocky and kind of hard to get through further than four or five inch. So and this tool is, you know, it does the job, but only just um, just the right amount usually what i'll find is it's a bit easier to to create a trench and put them in that way by doing this all i do is like i say when I take them out you make sure the pointy ends up and the roots at the bottom what is a bit obvious but go in and i just mark it with a little dab and then i know exactly where i've put the last one just like that Right, so that's us just finished there. So that's everything pulled out that needed to be. Borders sort of turned over and new bulbs planted. And the best thing about bulbs is there's such a wide range of variety that you can get that you really just spoil for choice. So depending on what color, shape, everything else that you like, you can really find a bulb that you love and that you like seeing year after year after year. The bulb planter, you know, they're not a must need and they cost next to nothing anyway, three, four pounds possibly. So you don't necessarily need that. A little spade or something would do just fine or even just creating a, a trench and then just chucking your bulbs in. They would sort themselves out. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on this uh, week's video. Last one of the year, I hope you have a great Christmas if you're watching this, you know, in real time and also an awesome new year when it comes to it. Thank you very much for all the support this year. Massively appreciated. And yeah, I wish you the very best going into 2022. Thank you very much for watching.